came back in for a walk and we, from a walk, and we put out some of my fall decorations. I don't have a lot, so it's just this to give thanks. And then Jordan put that wreath up there and there was another wreath on the front door. We have this garland, but I'm not sure where we're gonna put it. Um, not sure where we're gonna put that. And then we have a wreath on the front door. is for the front door. River, don't touch it. So that's pretty much it. My dog will pick some things up at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. But it's cute for now. I'm not a huge decorator, but I'm learning some things. My favorite thing is this give thanks sign. And then this pumpkin, it lights up. Let me see if I can get it. I don't think, can you turn off the light? Can you turn off the light real quick? Oh, that's what it looks like. Um, can you turn off that light too? Okay, so it's just a cute little glowing pumpkin. Turn the light back on, please. Thank you. And now time to clean up this kitchen, yay! Devon is taking a look at this um, mantle for me because we need to figure out how it comes off so that we can paint this brick white. And I'm gonna paint the inside of the fire area um, black. So if we can get this mantle off, that would be great. So this is the before. Before, I'm um, gonna see how I'm doing better. Okay, so yeah, that's what it looks like. And then we eventually wanna get the TV, which is right there mounted up here. But first, I wanna get it refinished. And then we'll go there. All right, so that's kids' dinner, so. The nails just really old. This shiny but, uh, red piece turned into what? We'll probably have to figure out and learn how to install another piece yeah. either over that or just rip this whole thing down completely and learn how to do something else. I don't, I don't really know. We'll figure it out as we go, I guess. But that's down now, and Dawn and I will probably head to Home Depot later today to go grab some things to start. Transforming the star place. We're just talking some more about what we want to get at the home goods store or the hardware store. So all this area in here, I want it to be black, but there's like this, if you can see here, there's like this kind of dip or this groove that we need some concrete to fill in. So we're going to get some quick creep for that and talk to the people about high heat quick creep because I don't know how quick creep does in high heat. So we'll find those questions out when we go. And then I just measured the entire width of the fireplace and it's 74 inches across and then it's 18 and a half inches from the top of this where the new mantle will hang to the top here and i don't know what the recommended is to keep the mantle away so i just needed that information so that when we question the people at home depot they could give us um like an informed answer of how far the firebox is away from the bottom of the mantle so and then we're, we decided to get quick creep white paint black paint for the firebox um and like painting supplies if we need like i guess we'll need some rollers or something for the white paint and um if we need anything to prepare the brick now i know they'll try to sell us everything under the sun i've read a few articles here and there about um it was about you know cleaning your brick but then i saw some articles that said you don't need to clean your brick so We'll figure it out and, and try to make an informed decision together after the people, I guess, at Lowe's or Home Depot, whichever one we go to, um, 
gives us some information and then we can discuss between ourselves what we're going to do and then uh, I'll probably look on Pinterest for some designs or ideas or plans on how to build a square mantel with in with storage inside so that we can put the Xbox, the, the AT&T TV, all the things inside the box um, and then call the people to install the TV onto the brick. So we shall see what we need to do. I'm just hoping that we don't need to involve a brick mason, masoner. Pretty sure that's not a word. But whoever, you know, whoever works on bricks, I forget that it's slipping my mind right now what they're called. But I'm just hoping that we don't have to get to the point where we have to hire somebody who deals with brick because it's damaged or we damaged it or something. I just don't want to deal with that. So hopefully we just take our time and go slow and get this project done. Um, I'm excited about getting it done because then we can get the TV off of that table. Take that table downstairs to the homeschool room and have another surface for the kids to work on from home home depot and we got this stuff for the firebox we got this gun and this concrete repair for the area that's cracked we also got this white paint for um the brick um this brush to brush and clean the brick before we paint it and uh, this paintbrush for the crack for the cracks. Um, we also got this. Right is playing with it right now, so I'm gonna give it back to him before he has a fit. And so we got this stuff here. I think we also got this bulb for the corner of the house. That's a Snoopy. Um, we got this um, at the corner of the house. For, for the corner of the house. Um, yes. Can you do what? Hold it? No, it's writers. And the lady gave us a Snoopy. Um, cute little Snoopy. So we will probably have kids are watching Tangled right now, so we will probably do this starting tomorrow and hopefully to record the progress and see what we do as how we do as I don't know home improver improvementers I just made up another word but it's fine so the kids just finished washing Rapunzel and um this little brush that I showed you guys earlier actually fit onto our broom sticks our broom handle so I just put it on here and I'm just gonna brush this clean and then Devon and I are gonna fix this crack here and then probably go to bed. He's, he's stronger than I am, obviously. So he can scrub this bottom better than I could. So he's doing that now. So we're gonna spray paint this black. So when he's done that, then we'll sweep out this uh, crack that's super deep. Cough that up. I think it only takes four hours to cure. And then tomorrow we'll come back and paint it black because we have to have the windows open, good ventilation. And uh, well, it'll be the door and one window because a lot of the other windows in this uh, room are sealed. So we that's an, that's another project for another day. But we'll just keep scrubbing this up until he gets it nice and clean as he can, so that the, the spray paint will stick when we spray it.
is the caulk stuff that we bought, or the concrete repair. So we're gonna seal some cracks with this stuff. I guess you just cut it off. We have some big cracks to fill, so we're just gonna cut it off with the, probably the biggest tip. And then we got all this stuff at um, Home Depot. So I think this was $4 or $5, and this was three or four dollars so we're gonna use that to fill the cracks to like i said fill this this one's pretty deep here fill all that and then fill this crack here and all the way across and i think that's the only cracks i don't think there are any other ones well do we fill in probably should fill in this hole up here probably go over that and, th and fill this one in so that we can get a nice white, you know, the white can have a nice clean look on it. And yeah, I think that's it. So I think here we just, I said, like I said, use the wet glove and do that there. And then, yeah. <sighs> Okay, so, so 48 hours for this to cure. And so I think I did as good of a job as I could have. Um, filled in the holes and the, it's already prepared to be painted because we scratched it like crazy. So, so far I'm happy with the progress. The crack was pretty deep and now it's not. This is what it looks like now. It looks like chalk, if you ask me. But uh, um, we have to do another coat and I actually wanna fill in some areas with cement, like that area and that area over there. So, um, but I think it looks pretty good right now. And then we are gonna decide when it's done. This has to be, this, it goes, the white goes into here too. Okay. Just so you know. Um, but he's just doing all the things. Where's your, why didn't you get a ruler mat? I forgot. Oh. So this is what it looks like now. And hopefully we'll get the whole thing finished soon. Go to bed. So he's out here spraying stuff. <laughs> So he sprayed all in there black, which looks nice. And then like, we still haven't painted here because the concrete isn't cured yet. So sometime tomorrow we'll do a second coat and finish this. And then hopefully be still able to get the TV mounted up there. So good job, babe. It's time for bed. All right.